Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. Today I'm going to share with you what I am giving my clients at the salon for a Christmas gift. So every year, starting December 1st, I start giving out little product samples. And this just happens to be the uh, product sample I've chosen for this year. It's called Sephira. It's like a leave-in... Well, they call it leave-in mud, but it's not mud. It's more like a serum to uh, put in your hair for any hair types. And it's phenomenal. And this is how I have decided to, to gift it to my lovely clients. So I'm going to change the colorway a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to make a bow without the bow builder punch, okay? So we are going to require our score tool, a piece of cardstock that is nine and a half by two, and we are going to score it at five inches. But that's it. There's also a piece of um, cardstock. This is the belly band, and it is five and a half by three and three quarters, and I'm just going to score it roughly in the middle at two and three quarters ish. Okay, so I'm going to round corners with my little corner rounder that is contraband. I just figure it's, I'm, I won't replace this little EK success dude until it's broken. Okay, and then we fold it up. Ta da! A piece of designer series paper at four and one and a half so it fits directly right in the middle I wanted to do this um, fairly inexpensively uh, because I'm already you know I've paid a, a buck 25 or whatever it was for my clients and then you know to gift them something already and I have like a hundred like I'm not joking hang on look I have like a hundred of these to you know make so a little crazy okay so I'm gonna put the you can use this as a gift card if you uh, gift card holder if you sort of just jimmied the measurements a little bit um, here is that little piece of crumb cake this is from the candy cane lane designer series paper so instead of gluing anything I'm just going to take my stapler and I got this at Staples if you can imagine that <laughs> I remember looking for it too and I'm like I had to ask the dude I'm like uh, I need a stapler do you sell staples staplers at Staples okay seriously hidden they should be front and center don't you think okay so we can do a um the banner just like this and if you wanted to embellish it with a round thing you totally can i'm going to try something slightly different so i have another one here and here is my envelope punch board now i made a little mark right at in the center that little black mark right there just to sort of give me guide to what is center Well, that's close enough. So um, I can do that on both sides. Close enough. And then we can fold it. And I can also place that in with a staple. That's quite snug. Okay, so I'm going to make the bow now. And in order, we need three pieces of cardstock. This is a five by one, and we're going to punch on both sides at two and a half. So there's my two and a half inch mark. I'm gonna punch flip and two and a half 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my edge of my paper and I'm going to line it up with my little black mark that I have there to make that. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay, so that's the bow part. We're going to need, so this is the ribbon part, this part here, and we have to punch, uh, so this is, this is three by one inches, and I'm going to butt it up at one and a half and punch on both sides. And then just like I did with the belly band here, I'm going to stick this guy in the middle. Hopefully I get the middle ish. Not bad. It's easier to line up. With a bigger piece of paper, I think. Okay. And that's all we need. Okay. So to help me along, I'm going to round with my bone folder. And then I need some glue dot. So I'm going to take a glue dot on the edge of that and I'm going to fit it right in the center so that it matches up nice and a glue dot here and do that the same. You can use glue too. I just find glue dots are going to be so super handy. And then you can either put your bow on with your glue dot like that. So there's your little bow happening or actually what I thought I would do you can do one of those too, like flip it down to make the bow look like the ribbons are coming down. But I actually like this way better because there's a reason for me to put the bow on there because I want to hide that staple. All right, and so this piece is like, I don't know, three inches by a quarter of an inch. I'm going to start off with a glue dot around the back. Then I'm just going to wrap it around, trim off the excess. I mean, obviously you didn't need three inches, but it's easier to wrap around. A glue dot on the back. You know, fluff that little bow up. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then um, I'm going to take a couple of glue dots in the middle. I think for the other one I used just glue, but for time's sake on video, and I'm going to center this one. The other one wasn't really centered. I was just winging it. And then you probably noticed that this one was super sparkly. Uh, I'm not, well, Really, is this such a surprise that I'm going to take my whole little wink of Stella here and go all over every little bit? And, you know, my clients are super special and I love them, but I may, I mean, I may run out of wink of Stella if I did it this way. So what I might use is another product. It's like a shimmer spray. Uh, by Perfect Pearls or Ranger and I just might line up a whole bunch and then just give everybody a mist. I can show you the product what I'm talking about. So it's called Perfect Pearl Mist and when you know if you sprayed it on some cardstock, see if I have something handy to show you. 
your night of navy. And then when that dries, it's super shimmery, right? So it's kind of the same thing, only different. And um, I might not use up my entire wink of Stella. <laughs> Just doing client gifts. Anyway, not that my clients aren't important. They really are. But this is the project I wanted to share with you today. And like I said, if you wanted to adjust this a little bit um, to make a gift card size, that's kind of the idea I wanted to share with you. Or you could use those little vias. Um, you know, the coffee and tea or like a little hot chocolate sort of pocket or whatever. Um you know, to put in people's stockings. So that is my project. I hope you liked it. Don't worry about writing anything down. There's a link in the description bar where I will have everything on my blog and also um, links to the uh, products as well. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.